Whoa. Hold on. Sorry, I was kind of rushing before I started the stream, so I didn't quite get to set everything up perfectly how I wanted to. There we go. Okay. Hi, my name is James. This is my channel, Big Old Words, and I'm going to be streaming the dreaded Mylon Seeker Castle. <sighs> um, <clears throat> I don't know why I chose this game. I've been thinking about it for a while, and um, I played this a ton as a kid, and played it recently for, um, for the Metroid uh, Clones video. And uh, I hated it just as much then, so I don't know why I'm playing it, but we're going to play it. Um, quick shout out to everyone who's here, uh, and thank you guys for being here. Uh, Dora Laxon, Scott Bogfoot, Jeff Linquist, who I think said it was his birthday. Happy birthday, homie. Uh, Fiery Paper Mario. Making sure my delay isn't there. Okay, I think it's fine. Uh, Elucidus, thank you for uh, moderating. Matt Sweeney. Nahasadam. Bronco Breaks. Afflicted. Lily, Child of Cascadia, good old Doug. Um, let's see. Uh, I wonder if that's my homie Doug. Uh, God, man, you guys were talking for a while. I'm trying to catch up here. Keith Serrett, <laughs> Marshy, uh, Kid Scarlet, great. Love that name. Jim S., okay. Keep it confidential. Uh, Todd Burgess, and anyone's name I missed or, um, or didn't miss, thank you for being here. Wish me luck. Budget Legacy of the Wizard is correct, but I actually hate that game more than I hate this game, so um, we got that going for us. Let's see how much I remember. This is a bonus game where you're trying to catch um, either notes or uh, sharps. You don't want flats. Flats are bad. And the more of these you catch, the more uh, this equals money. That gives me eight dollars perfect and you really need money in this game so um legacy has way better music yes i absolutely a thousand percent agree the music in this is a little tiresome i don't think i have enough money yet hold on no Let's see what the hints are secret entrance in the front wall okay bump head you don't need to know what that said it wasn't important so, um, <clears throat> you're going to see me looking side to side a little bit. I am full heartedly going to say that I'm going to be cheating. Um, I have little maps of each world. Oh, fuck, that's gross. Zevia Zero Sugar. This fucking sucks. Do not drink this. I was trying, I, I bought a bunch of like cream soda versions of the A&W and um, they were completely flat, the entire case. So um, I was like, well, why don't I try something new? And I'm so disappointed that I did. This is the worst thing I've had in a long time. Anyway. Zevia, if you're out there, you can still sponsor me. <laughs> it's big old words at gmail.com. I'll take any root beer base sponsorship. Thank you. God, I hate this game. So if you're like, what are you doing right now? I am looking for money and honeycombs and um, bees. Where's there a bee? Okay, there's a bee over here. There are certain items in each level that help you out. Uh, the bee, which I think is here. How the hell do you get that? I don't know. Maybe once you have the spring, you jump up there? I don't know how you get the bee. Anyway, certain shit in each level that you get. And um, you actually don't have to get any of the stuff I'm, I'm talking about. It's all entirely optional. Um, like the uh, the honeybee or the, uh, uh, the umbrella or the honeycomb. 
but it helps a lot. The um, the bee, wherever the fuck it is, uh, makes you gives you like a force field. The honeycomb extends your life, gives you like a slightly higher life bar, and then the um, umbrella does something. I think it improves your um, your bubble. So maybe now I can hit it. No. I swear it's right here. Oh well. And the object of this, of each level, is you have to go through each stage. Even though it doesn't seem like there was any point to that whatsoever. You have to go through each stage. Um. Oh shit, I only have four dollars. Fuck, I should've got more money. Was there more money I left out there? I guess I had to do better at the minigame. <laughs> should've caught more notes, damn it. Well, we're gonna have to go back. This is gonna be annoying. We won't be able to get... Yeah, okay. Let's see, where's the door in this one? The... Okay, way up there. Oh, fuck. Huh! There it is. Way up there. We will come right back to this. Yeah, so you're going to see me looking over here. I'm absolutely going to be cheating. And, um... And the reason for that is that this game is extremely hard even when you know what you're doing. And while I have a pretty good sense of the first half, after that I have no idea. So I'm going to be looking stuff up. Um, I have played this maybe not that long ago and didn't know there was a continue code because it's like a secret, which is some bullshit. Um... And so I always just played it until I lost life, and then that was it. Just gave up. So uh, now that I know there's a continue code, I'm, I'm more into the idea of playing it. Like, I could suffer a little longer. But um, even when I played it recently for, for a video I was making, I just played it as long as I thought was <laughs> enough footage. I, I was done after that. I did not want to play Mylon Secret Castle anymore. Um, a lot of people mentioned when I posted that I was going to be playing this. Sorry, I'm super... We're all sick in the house, so you're going to hear me sniffling and probably coughing here a little bit. Um, when I mentioned I was playing Mile and Secret Castle, a lot of people mentioned the uh, AVGN episode. and uh, So I watched it. I was like, oh yeah, forgot about that. It's, it's pretty funny, of course, but um, what's funny to me is that uh, he doesn't actually play it very long. He only makes it like to the fourth level or something. Like, not very far at all. I don't know if I can get up there or not. How do you do this? Yeah, I definitely will call the Nintendo hotline if I get stuck. I mentioned that on the Solstice video. We actually did call it once for Solstice. That was the only time. And they didn't know how to beat it either. I can't remember what you do here. It doesn't matter. Like, money is pretty important in this game, but there are ways you can get... There you go. Get your ass over here. There are ways you can get more of it. But, like, the honeycombs and shit is absolutely essential. You have to get it. Um, what I went back for, what I had to spend money on, was the potion. And you can see I touched that boxing glove, and that made me small. It doesn't make any sense. And as a kid, I never figured that out. I watched an older kid play this game and, and realized how to do it then. But this is... Yeah. So, everything about this is completely obtuse. There's nothing intuitive about playing Mylon at all. Not a thing. Even what I'm showing you now is like just complete like memory. Uh, I don't need this. Secrets in the well. Cool. <clears throat> How to beat Solstice. Turn off the power to your NES console without pressing reset. Throw it into the sun. Damn. Oh. Damn. That Zevia sucks. God. That is... It's like, I think it's flat too, like there's no carbonation, it's just like 
fake sugar water? God, that is fucking nasty. Gross. I wonder if it's a boxing glove in Japanese. I don't know. Uh, let's see how I do here. Never been good against these things. Yeah, that was pretty good. <clears throat> I watched someone play this earlier, and um, and they got all the Hudson Bees, and that really does make a huge difference because the Hudson Bees make you uh, give you a lot more life. Um, you beat Mylon on a single rental, a five-year rental. That's pretty good. But I was barely out here for like a second. Assholes. All right. Where are we at now? Mm, this one. Okay. Um, okay. I've said it before. I'm not above cheating. Especially with a game like this. Where, like, nothing is clear. But, um... I am kind of above using, like, a Game Genie code or something, unless I really felt like it was like, all right, we're never going to see the end of this unless I Game Genie it up. Somewhere over here. Oh, you have to be small, right? Yeah. So that's what we need the punching glove for. To get small. And go in here. Uh, we need this vest, so we're going to come back here when we get some more money. The vest isn't 100% against heat. Cool. Uh, let's see. All right. I think I know where to go. <laughs> where is it? Hold on. Somewhere right here. Oh, it's above me. I don't have a key. Okay. Oh, that's the exit anyway. I don't need to leave. Yeah. There we go. Where is the music box? Oh, way back there. I haven't fucking missed it. Okay. The B should be right here. Dick. This is going to be tough. Is there something you need to collect to be able to continue in this one? So, every... Yes, yeah, so you have to get the vest. I mean, you don't have to, but you do need it. You won't survive without it. But, um... Technically, all you have to do to complete each level is uh, get the key and leave. And you get the key by... I can't remember. Killing a certain amount of enemies or something? It's kind of an arbitrary thing. But, um, the, um, but then each room does usually have something you need. It's usually just money, but, um, sometimes it is, like, a specific item is only found in the shop there, like, here. Um, man. Come on, one more. Yes. I think it's every five you get? I don't know how many I got. So, yeah, it's gotta get something here. And that's where we're going. Oh, yeah, fuck. This is definitely a game where it helps to be a little patient, um, which I am not. Like, you really should try and kill certain enemies instead of uh, just avoiding them. Because it seems like a game where you should just be avoiding everything, but in reality, if you, if you don't, it makes everything so much more difficult. Fuck off. I'm about to die. Somebody give me some life stat. Oof. 
I don't know what happens if I uh, if I die here. If I go back to the beginning, I don't remember. Like if I um, sorry, if I continue with the same items. Because what happens when you die is you um, you put in the little code and then you can you can start back where you were. Damn, they like immediately made me run out of time up here. Okay, I don't think I have this one lined up yet. No, I do not. That's room F. Okay. If I could, I would share my screen here. <laughs> Why not have a continue option? I think it's a Hudson thing. I mean, I guess the original Mario Brothers is like that too, but like um, Adventure Island doesn't have one either. It doesn't make any sense. And yeah, it's infuriating. All right, where the hell am I going? All the way down, apparently. Could use some hearts here, players. Where's the honeycomb? If I can get that, that's gonna take forever. <laughs> Jesus, this is a really convoluted one. I think that's it. It's a certain amount of blocks or a certain amount of enemies killed is what reveals the key. It's so stupid. Like, how would you know that? Um, huh. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, I did that right. Um... Yes. Am I close? The shop. I need that. I do not have anywhere near enough money. That's annoying. And I didn't mean to go in there, sorry. Is there any more money in this stage? Okay, there's some way over there. Fuck me. Shit. Oh shit. I think I gotta be small. No, there's no boxing glove here. I don't know how you get that. Huh. How the fuck do you get that? got it. Now I can't get it. Fuck. Now I gotta go all the way back around. <sighs> That's right. I think I need to go this way anyway to uh, get the item that I need for this level, which is the lamp. The lamp lights your way in the well, which we're about to go. Most of the items don't really... Wait a second. Where's the door? Below here. Most of the items you get are single use. It's like the vest you need in one place because it's there's fire and the vest prevents fire somehow. Um, the the lamp is only used in the well, but in uh, but the punching glove is used a ton. For some reason, that one the potion is actually what it's called. For some reason, that one you get a bunch of times. All right, please don't let me die. Please don't let me die. Oh, fudge sickles. Whew. 
There we go. Yes! Look at me, I didn't die. I got all the items. I may be a Mylon god here, y'all. I've denied the science for too long. Yeah, agreed about the music <laughs> of this versus Legacy. I mean, Legacy has an amazing soundtrack, but um, this is uh, awfully repetitive. I think that's everything. All right, take a break. <sighs> yeah, I'd never seen, I think as a kid, we had some neighbors who had, um, not just an NES, but they had like a, come back, oh, you dick, stop hitting me. Um, what, how do I do this without getting hit? Okay. We had some neighbors who had, um. Who had an NES, and they got way more games than we did. So they had like the original Zelda. Um, they had Faxandu before we did. That's how we knew about it. And, I, and they had this game. So I remember seeing one of them get here. Where the hell am I going? Um, consulting, consulting. It's like somewhere around here. There we go. <laughs> Like, how would you ever know to look there? You're, like, in this giant space, and you're like, well, I should probably shoot that one random place in the wall. Anyway. No, come back! Oh, damn it, that would have been really nice. Oh. Let's see if I can get back up there. I just realized we have a different song now. We're gonna have to come back there later, I think. We, you have to go back that way anyway, but um, yeah. All right, fire room, let's see. Come back! Come back! Yes! Suck my balls, Hudson! Oh shit, now what do I do? I'm tired to keep pausing like this. I, I hope it's not too annoying when you watch it, because it's, um, it's not my intention, but it's like entirely necessary, believe me. Like, how would you know you can't fight that guy? The first time I, I got this far, I fought that guy for like 10 minutes before he killed me and didn't realize that's what was happening. Yeah, ho. I'll take it. Sold. <laughs> uh, hammer? Come here. So like I said, the fire does actually, even with the vest, it does still hurt you if you like kind of linger on it. But for the most part, you're like sort of immune. These guys though. <sighs> Fuck. All right, left, start. Okay. Look at my life. <laughs> that is so cruel. 
Look at that. That's so insane. Oh my god. <laughs> you did this as a nine-year-old, Doug. I don't believe you. I mean, I do. What am I missing? There we go. <laughs> Alright. There's something good here. Where is it? Huh? Uh, there. Okay. Don't kill me. Yay! No! <laughs> yeah, I think these guys are just better to avoid. They do a lot of damage, and I think you have to hit them multiple times. Just why? <sighs> just why? Now what? <sighs> Suck my balls, please. Why they make it so hard? That's so stupid. Look at that. You have to like, what do you have to do? You have to like jump slightly. There you go. Jump to the side slightly. Whew. That was tough. All right. I think we have to fight a boss immediately too. Um, can we go? Down. There you go. Uh, I can't remember now. It's not there. No. Fuck. I don't want to be in here. Um, uh, how the hell do I get out of here? I might have to look that up, unless you guys know what I'm doing. Say I fake sick just to play Mylons. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Yeah, the worst is, you know, I'm sick, my wife's sick, but the, the little baby is sick, and that has been really hard. <laughs> You've never seen anything more heartbreaking than a little baby that's sick. That shit sucks. Maybe here? So one of those items I picked up, which you can't look at your inventory, which is pretty annoying, is called the saw, which I thought opened one of these doors, but... Um, now I'm really confused. I'm gonna have to look this up, y'all. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Into the well. How the hell do I get back down there? No. Where the fuck do I go? Does anybody know where the hell I'm going? Uh, the darker windows do open, but not till later. I think. And somehow I have to get back down there. But I don't know how to do that. I thought it was that middle door.
That just takes you exactly where you were. What the fuck? It seems like I should be able to go this way. I don't want to go back in the well. Um, one of the no window ledges. I'm pretty sure that's down below that I need to do that, but I'll try it. No. No, it's down below. I am at a loss here. What am I missing? Oh, can I go like here? Yes, there we go. There we go. So that's what the hammer does, is it opens up places in the wall. Now we get the saw. There's, that's it. Okay, got the saw. Let me go back through this door. And then one of these will open now. Not that one. This one? Yep. And we're boned. Damn. That was hard. Not the worst castle you've seen in an NES game. That is true. That is true. Maybe I'll spend... You really need money in this game. It's, like, pretty important. Let's see if I can beat him, and if not, I might spend the money on some power. Which I think brings your life back up. I actually don't remember. I don't know why they start you with so little life. It's uh, pretty unfair. Because, <laughs> right there, you can see that's three hits I could take before that guy kills me. I'm gonna give it one more shot and then I'll spend the money. I'm trying to be frugal. Go back to the first, let's try that. Marshy's got the, the spirit. Marshy's saying to uh, farm some hearts here, so let's do that. One. Probably helps if you don't get hit, though. I still never found a damn bee in this level. So yeah, the umbrella does make your bubble better, somehow. Which is pretty helpful against the boss fights. Again, this works a lot better if you don't get hit. Which is very much easier said than done in this game. Let's hang out here for a second. It's like I'm playing Metroid here. Just waiting for enemies to appear. I feel like this is one of those games that a lot of people played. Like, either as a rental or, or you owned. It, it was, like, fairly ubiquitous for a while. Even though it's obviously not one of the most well-regarded. Uh, but it's like Akari Warriors or something. Like, everybody had Akari Warriors. I didn't, but... Lots of people had Akari Warriors. This is taking too long. Let's go fight. Spawn camper. There you go. I think I'd rather harm some farts than farm some hearts.
Uh oh. Oh god. Didn't matter. I think the downside of um, getting a bunch of health is then I was maybe a little more cavalier when I fought the boss. Let's see if I can do this without getting hit this time. Yeah, I think you must lose your umbrella power when you die. Because, yeah, it looks like my, my bubble sucks now. I just can't perform how I used to. Someone pointed out, and it's in the picture in the uh, from the little Famicom version of Mylon that's uh, in the bottom right, that Mylon actually has a horn that he's blowing. And the horn is what's blowing out bubbles. I don't know how you would know that, because he absolutely is not holding anything. But that would have been cool. I feel like that would have made his weapon a lot more interesting. At least in appearance, if not in function. Because it'd be the exact same thing in function, but like, it would look a little cooler. Just a little bit. Alright. I think that's pretty good. I say with confidence. Like I said, I think the trick is that um, I still have to be just as cautious as I am with like three hits as I am with like ten hits because I feel like having all that makes it uh, makes me a little less cautious. Let's see. keep drinking this god that's bad okay we're doing pretty good here we're on the third floor in theory if you knew where everything was this shouldn't take that long it's still very difficult so um let's see where we're at here we're going to i which is uh up here um in theory That's not where we're going, apparently. Oh, over there. <laughs> That's so stupid. So stupid. Why was that so hard? enough for these cool shoes, but that would be tight. Damn, look how far back that starts you. I feel like I should just take one here. So I never knew until just now that's how you got up to where, to that part. Um... As a kid, you know, that's where, where you just saw me is the very beginning of the game, right? So, um, I'll show you again, because I think you can get as much money as you want this way. I'm not going to do it infinitely, and it's actually quite difficult to jump up there. Not there. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I have no idea why this is so hard. No clue. I guess we're just gonna move on though. It's not really super important. Um, okay, where do I go next? So, room J, which is uh, that one. <sighs> Nothing is ever easy. No, not that one. That one over there. Fuck. I'm never going to get to that. <sighs> uh -huh. Like in... You should be able to make that jump fairly easy that I just made, but it's like they programmed it to be just barely out of reach. I have no idea why. No idea why. Jump to right to get momentum coming back left. I'll try that next time. All right, where the fuck are we? Um, uh, sorry. Okay. Someone say busting makes me feel good. It sure does. Oh, that's okay. So I need to go back to that room that I was having trouble jumping into because you have to buy something later. <laughs> um, I just learned today while I was looking up stuff about this game that uh, the more of these you do, the more instruments appear until there's a full band. Isn't that kind of funny? I mean, it's not that interesting, but like. It's so, like the music gets better as you as you play. In theory. I think that's the most I've gotten. It's 35. Of course I just lost one there, but uh, nowhere. All the way to the right. Oh boy. It's one of these levels. There we go. This is probably it. All right. I'll take it. I think this may be the furthest I've made it in this game, actually. And granted, I am cheating very hard, but um, even that is still pretty hard to do. <laughs> I've never beaten it. Uh, never, never. I have low expectations today, but uh, I, I think it's possible. to go back there somehow. I'm not really sure how I would get up there. <laughs> Fuck, this is annoying. Take a pause. Oh, the exit's back that way. Shit. Yep. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I 
How the hell do you get past that? Holy sweet Christ. It's like nothing even really happening in this stage, but it's still driving me crazy. If you don't know a lot about Mylon, let me tell you a few things. One, there's no recovery. So once you get hit, you keep getting hit. Um, it can be very, very frustrating. Come on. All right, where the hell is this exit? It's like right here. What the fuck? Where is it? There, God. That's something that the in the AVGN video he does point out very correctly, which is like, you, you're shooting directly at the fucking door. Directly at it. But like, you have to hit it perfectly. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Ridiculous. Alright, um, I have to go back to this place. And I think it was maybe Bronco Breaks was saying there is a way. You just gotta get more momentum. So let's see if I can get more momentum here. Although I might not, still might not have enough money. Fuck off. Why is this so difficult? <sighs> and why the lightning? Like, it wasn't already hard enough. Oh, I didn't know you could shoot it. Hold on. Huh. I had no idea you could shoot this stuff. doesn't give you anything but okay whoo that was hard yep I'm gonna have to do that one more time fuck that's annoying all the way back For what seems like a really big game, it's actually quite small. Like, as a kid, I wouldn't have said that because it seemed gigantic, but there's actually not that many places to go. Especially once you... Like, there's not a ton of backtracking, really. Come on, please stop. Please stop. Just let me get up there. No, not... No! That's it, no. No. Just somebody run into me immediately. <sighs> Someone. No! <laughs> I thought this would get me out of here. I wouldn't have committed Hirakiri if I knew I had to do all this bullshit again. Okay. Oh, okay. They don't make you find the key again. That's good. No, 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 no. It's like pure luck that you get up there the first time. How the fuck do I do this? So the jump is completely optional outside of easy money. No, you need the, the item that's in that shop. So it seems like I'm just doing this for the money. But I'm not, y'all. I'm here for you. 
Uh, but you absolutely do need it. Why is that such a difficult jump? That's so stupid. So I need 60 dollar dues, which gets me these monster shoes that then allow me to jump and not have the same uh, jumping impotency that I've been experiencing here. Um, why do you keep saying Dumbrella? I, I must have missed something here. <laughs> uh, so someone asked if I was sponsored by uh, by Hudson Soft, which is pretty funny, uh, as I played three games recently, and uh, I think I want to go here. No, I want to go... Yeah. Three Adventure Island games. Thank you. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Shit. Alright, I need this item too, of course. Now I gotta get 40 bucks. Um, where do I go next? I think here. My, I have no idea why I'm playing this or any other uh, Hudson game. They all drive me crazy. Except for Bomberman, but I'm not gonna play Bomberman. That sounds pretty boring. Um, oh boy, this looks super convoluted. But, um, yeah, it's not intentional. I really don't know why. It just kind of happened. I think I need the glove. Yeah, I feel like I'm too big. Uh, but there's a glove. There's a glove. So you can see how much higher I jump. Hold on. When I have an excuse to jump. Whee! Like, he jumps super high now. Which will come in handy, in theory. Um, okay. So I'm small, now what? Oh yeah. Thirty-five. That seems to be about exactly what I get every fucking time. Every fucking time. All right. Somehow I have to get up. <coughs> There's the old cough. <laughs> So yeah, how's everybody's week going? Um, like I said, all of us sick. Been uh, putting in some shifts with little baby. Spending a lot of time sleeping on the couch in her room. That's pretty much my life right now. Um, and I'm working on video when I'm not sleeping. Um, that's coming along. I'm working on my Mario 2 video. Sorry, Mario 3 video. I don't know why I said Mario 2. Which is something I never thought I would do. Uh, talk about an NES game that everyone played, but... Wait, I'm not done. Fuck you. I'll... You have to go through the door? Can I, like, not avoid it? I feel like there's still... I guess there's not really anything else over there. There's a shop that I missed, so let's go there. Let's see what's see what's popping. Somewhere up top right. Is 
there. Okay. How the hell do you get to it? This game is evil. Like presumably, I, there we go. Yeah, man, I haven't checked in. Elusus, I'm sorry, I haven't checked in with you in a while. I forgot. How you feeling? Um, that cough scared the shit out of me. You're talking about my cough? Um, yeah, sorry. Um... Let me tell you, that Mario 3, that's a good game. That's a good-ass game right there. There we go. That's how I get there. Somehow. Um, now what? Why is this so cryptic? Is something you... Oh, I think you pushed this, maybe? <laughs> Why... Why is any of this so cryptic? The blimp? Fuck, man, you need so much money in this game. You really do. Like, it's so unnecessary. So, uh, okay, it says there's a boss down this corner. Let's see what that is. Because I'm probably going to die anyway, so what difference does it make? Yeah, Super Mario Bros. 3. I, uh... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! This is gonna last about three seconds. Oh, damn, that starts you way back here. Well, that is unfortunate. That's kind of weird. Every other time if you die in a level, it starts you um, in that same level. But there, if you die, then it um, starts you all the way at the beginning. It's pretty annoying. Pretty annoying, I'd say. 40. Did you ever notice the extra detail Mario 3 has with two-player mode compared to four world? No. I, I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry. Oh, whoops. <laughs> All that does is take you back here. That's so mean. But then you can't go back the way you came. That's pretty lame. Okay, so now I have two items to get, and I need about $70 to get them. So I guess we're going to go here. Let's see what's in here. Fuck, this is going to be a really hard one. Make sure I know what the hell I'm doing. <sighs> what cruel fate has brought me here today? <laughs> My own fate that I chose. The way it swaps between players and they have the same inventories, have their own inventories. Oh, I mean, isn't that just the normal two-player? 
I don't know where, where I'm supposed to go here. What the fuck? Yeah, so this... What I think is interesting about this video... I mean, not really, but... Like, why I made it, and why I made it how I did... Is that I I think I just... And it's kind of similar to the Fact Sanity video, actually. Where it's more of just, like, a personal experience than it is, like, me trying to do a review. Because, like, what's the point of reviewing Mario 3, right? But, um, so it's, it's really more just me talking about things I think are funny. Um, and so it's, it's fun for me. Like, I... Okay, I thought that would hurt me for some reason. Like, I just tried to think of things that would make me laugh. And then that's what I went with. Oh, you can't ride the elevators without the... There's some item. What fucking item is it? Oh, it's... The... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which item it is, but we don't have it yet. I think it's a feather? I don't know if I got that item. I'm gonna look that up real quick. Um, let's see. Bear with me while I look at my computer screen that you can't see. Let's see. Feather. Feather. Room J. What the fuck is J? That room. Okay, I definitely didn't get that one. That room. Oh, there was like a secret shop at the top. God damn, this game. All right, so how the hell do I get out of here is a better question. I think the answer is going to be annoyingly. <laughs> Painstakingly. <laughs> One step at a time at least. <laughs> Bubbledly. <laughs> Holy shit, y'all. Like, I really am convinced they set out to make this as obnoxious as possible. Like, why else would you do this? This way. And those damn bees are impossible to catch. I hate them. They just mock you. Okay. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> very, very slowly. <sighs> and I have a feeling I'm gonna have to do this room again, which is even more infuriating. Like, what a time suck. Hey, some money. Look at that. This level's finally paying off. Okay, so I can't get there unless I have the... Jesus. Unless I have the feather, so there's no point. most annoying room. Holy shit, there's a honeycomb over there somewhere. I'm not sure how I missed the key. I'm looking at the map right here. It's it's in that section of me repeatedly shooting shit, but I'm amazed I missed this much money. key. That's good. There's a honeycomb over here somewhere. Where? That's what I mean by no recovery. That guy hit me twice and 
And there's no way to avoid the second hit. <sighs> Bear with me, guys. We will escape this hell. This is just bubble purgatory right now. Oh my god, I can actually feel my hand cramping up from non-stop bubbling. I don't know if you could do this without the super shoes. It seems like that would be impossible. Like you wouldn't be able to get up here. But I'm pretty sure you can get here without them, so. Yay. All right, somehow I have to get all the way over there and I'm not sure how yet. I wish you could duck. That would honestly make this game quite a bit easier. There's so many times where you're like, you just can't get out of the way, basically. Like that. Perfect ducking time. Come on, where the hell do I jump here? Yes, I like where this is going. I don't know what's happening, but something's happening. There it is. Yes! That wasn't the point of this. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. We're doing pretty good. I need so much more money, y'all. It's not even funny how much more money I actually need to beat this. Um, how the hell do I get back up? This is an excellent question. Um, I don't know. So you can't take the elevator yet because I don't have that item. I guess I ha there's no way you have to have it. I don't know. Even if you could jump higher, I don't think I could. Maybe. I'll give it a shot. What I'm saying to myself here is I don't know if I can jump high enough to actually jump across that gap, which is where I need to go. But I think if also if I die, I'll start back. Yeah, that would be helpful if that wasn't there. No, I don't think you can get there. So how the hell do you do that? Oh, thank Christ. Oh, music's getting better. This is honestly the only variation in the soundtrack is, um, is this mini game. Pretty silly. <laughs> That's my best performance yet. Sweet. Sweet. That is the best I've done. And then the exit should be... Uh, fuck. Up top. Cool. Alright. Things are looking up. Things are going Mylon's way. Oh, there's a punching glove there? I never noticed that. I never noticed that. Okay. 
I have to go back to this level. I'm just gonna be. There we go. And then I have to go to a shop, which is up top. There it is. I'm not sure how I miss it. Okay, get the feather. Still need a lot of money. Cause there's, well, let me get out of here first. If I could only get up here with some consistency. Fuck! Why? That was a complete accident. That sucks. Oh, I'm, I can jump up here now. Okay. Okay. The money's gone? I must have done something. Damn, that's cold. So you should be able to do that an infinite amount of times, but I think because I must have got an item or something that it's not there anymore. There's the blimp and what fuck else do I have? I didn't mean to go here. But uh, um, there is a boss here. So let's see if we can beat the boss. Oh. Did I not realize you could get money more than once? That's not true. Oh. Sometimes it resets. You can't just farm money. You can't just go in and out of the same room and get a bunch of money. That's not how it works. So I don't know why that money's there, but it's not in other places. Beats me. Just trying to beat this boss. Hey, dick. Hey, stop. What the fuck? <laughs> how are you supposed to avoid that? Shit. No, no, no. No! feeling pretty good I've, I've never made it anywhere close to this far so we're pretty I know we're close to the relatively close to the end however what's in here oh this one takes you back fuck damn it this is a cruel cruel game perhaps it's time to break out the power glove yeah that's probably a good call Someone recommended playing this with the turbo controller, and I do have one. I mean, I could make this one a turbo controller with the... Okay, well, I haven't been here. I mean, I have, but um, I haven't done the, the item up there. I don't know what's there yet, so let's go see.
Come on. Come on. Where the hell am I going? Oh, okay. What the fuck does that do? By purchasing the Excalibur tile, the power of Mylon's bubbles will double. Yeah, I definitely need that. The paint. If you had the paint, then certain blocks will in the evil sprite shine, which are visibly visible. Yeah, I don't really need that. The canteen I haven't got to yet. The blimp will allow Mylon to float gently, so I do need that. And I just need one more dollar ado for that. What a weird place to start you. Like here? Why? Right, isn't there a hole in the floor? Yeah. They at least took pity, me, pity on me for that. All I gotta do is get out of here. And then if I die, I'll start somewhere else. Fuck. <sighs> Child of Cascada, you demand something good. You know what? You've been a good sport. Um, you know, forever. I will let you choose. You can tell me what we'll play next time. Maybe not next time, but maybe the time after that. I might have something next time. Yeah, I'm not giving up. I'm beating this. <laughs> I'm gonna beat this stupid game. I don't care. I don't care about my sick child. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please don't kill me. Wife. Okay. I need the um, blimp, which is in room M. Which one is M? This one. <laughs> John, <laughs> uh, Bionic Commando. I'm terrible at Bionic Commando. Um, let's see. Where the hell am I? This room... Okay, got the blimp. Is there something else I'm like missed? Let me see. R. L. How the hell do I get out of here? Oh, it's on the top. Of course. Oh, hello. So I gotta get fifty dollars somehow. I wasn't expecting that to be a room. Um, what the fuck is that? Ok, 
Okay. Alright, now there's a honeycomb. Now, now I'm dead. Watch, I s Okay. I thought it started me at the very beginning. It's pretty annoying that it started me here, but still. Um, it didn't start me at the very, very beginning. Okay. That's fine. We're still good. Making our way back up. Uh, so, what did you say, Cascadia? You said, uh... I would love to cri play Crystallis. Um, I am a little worried it's a little too long. Alright, so... Holy shit, that is annoying as hell. What attack pattern are these guys moving in? It's like completely random. I think I need a little more life to, before I do this again. Uh. Ooh, I do love Cabal. I fucking love Cabal. Yeah, three parts is too much. Two parts, maybe. Like, I really want to play Soul Blazer, but, um, it's, uh, it's a little too long to even do in, in three parts. Alright, I'm gonna try this one more time. I probably should get some more life first, but I'm gonna try it one more time. Like, how the hell do you predict that? Yes! That was the main reason I came here. Is there anything else worth the damn in here? What the fuck is this? Is there anything cool in this section? There's a little bit of money. And maybe the bee, although I'm, I never really figure out where the bee is. There it is. I'm gonna miss it. Okay, stop. Oh shit. <laughs> What does this boss get you? <sighs> Alright, so you absolutely have to beat that boss to beat the game. So let's come back to that. We still need our sword, which should help. We only need... a shitload more. I don't think there's... let's see... Holy shit. Gimmick. I could play Gimmick. That would be fun. Let's see what happens if I go back in here. No, not in there. Nope. Still no money. Flew too close to the sun here. Gremlins 2 is a good one. Um, I can never make it that far in that, though.
Uh, I would play Tiny Toons. That is on my list. Bet there's one here, right? What the hell is this? I have no idea what's happening here. <laughs> All right, got that one dollar. Wait a second. Is there something up there? Nope. Wait a second. Did I go back to the top? What just happened? I think I did. Because I went backwards. I did. That's so weird. Or... Oh, no. Just... I'm missing something here. Alright, I'm going to read about this one. Unless someone knows what to do. Unless Dan Bauer showed up to tell me exactly what I'm supposed to do. L. Let's go to L. Room L. In this kind of maze, spiral staircase rests around the tower. You must climb down from the top to the bottom. Uh, once you reach the bottom, you'll enter a trap door and send you back to the top. This is fine the first time, but every time after, you'll be stuck in a loop. None of the stairs that you've run down will break except for one single tower of his money tile. Check this the stage to figure out how to break out of the loop and access the boss. Yeah. Read the spoiler below to learn how to reach the boss. Yeah, fool. Spoil these nuts. Spoiler. The fuck are you talking about? Spoiler. To reach the bottom of the tower, drop through the trap door just once. When you reappear at the top of the tower, fire bubbles at the blocks in the upper right corner. Okay. Okay. Now what? This is absolutely the hardest part of the game so far, which is like, I don't have enough money. <laughs> I don't have a great way to get more of it. And um, I'm kind of like grinding away here for no particular reason. And I'm pretty sure both of these places where I'm fucking around right now, either this left or right tower, you have to fight a boss. At which point, like, what am I gonna do? I have zero health. And every time you die, you get jack all for health and it's like I guess I could hang out and farm some health here but in this game you, it's so easy to take damage that it's like honestly it never feels like it's really worth it like it feels you, you take two hits to get one heart Like that. Cool. That's what I get for trying. Let's see if I can figure out the riddle of the, uh...
think I got so angry that I turned the mic off. <laughs> In Adventure Island, the same thing happened, which is that you can you have to press uh, a, I can't remember what it is, start and up or something in order to continue. But I, d- I remember I did it, and then I was like, I forgot. I said, fuck, start it over again. And sure enough, you could, you could still continue. It doesn't fault you. And um, now I don't, I'm, I'm not playing that anymore. That's, I'm not doing the entire fucking game over again. That's bullshit. That is so lame. I was so close. I, I think that there was, um, I still had a couple items to get. And then there was only one more level. infinite energy I don't know how much that would really help I'm very tempted thank you for the codes I'm very tempted but um, I don't think I'm going to do that I think I'm too angry to keep playing this game not that angry actually I'm, I mean it's whatever <laughs> it's fucking Mylon Secret Castle but uh, that is super frustrating so yeah let's play something else for the last 30 minutes and um and never talk about that again. Um, I will take any recommendations if you guys um, want to uh, want something else here for a little bit, and then uh, I'm gonna head out. Yeah, and of course, if I was playing with save states or something, it wouldn't matter. If I was emulating this, it wouldn't matter. Um, but this isn't a game that has a password system or something like that, where you know you guys could look up where I was and I could kind of get close. You know, it's that's as close as I can get is to start from the complete beginning man these are um, some intense games Blaster Master okay so first of all Friday the 13th I will play at some point Um, Amagong that's nuts that game is way too hard Um, (laughs) I think my favorite suggestion is Matt's for Hunt for Red October that's a pretty funny one Um, we might actually play that I'm going to keep looking. Uh, so my problem with Euphoria is that it, um, my TV isn't PAL compatible. So this amazing system I have, the AVS supports PAL games, but it plays them as fast as my top loader does, which is too fast. Um, so unfortunately, it doesn't work perfectly. It does work, but it doesn't work perfectly. Um, not going to play Rampage, but thank you. I mean, it's Jeff's birthday. Is that really what you want me to play is Rampage? Um for Jeff for your birthday I will play something but please not Rampage <laughs> I'll let you choose but just not Rampage please <sighs> Hudson Hawk damn dude killing it yeah I have the AVS it rules um, I got it a few months ago and um, it has made streaming a lot easier because it outputs an HDMI so I don't have to like connect it to a bunch of shit um, it plays Famicom games. It plays everything much better than um, than the, my NES did. So, uh, yeah, it's it's been amazing. The only thing I haven't figured out is the PAL compatibility. Like, it is, but haven't figured it out yet. Uh, Bubble Bath Babes, let's demonetize. Yeah, I don't have that game. That would be pretty killer. I think I do have Skull and Crossbones over here in the unlicensed section. I do have a lot of weird unlicensed games. One of these days... Maybe, like, soon I'll play um, Spiritual Warfare or something. I'm waiting for... J- Jeff Linkwist says, you want Castlevania? Okay. Um, so this is for Jeff. It's his birthday. Everybody say happy birthday. We're playing Castlevania for 20 minutes or so. Um, I'll stream Castlevania three soon. It's on my list. It was the second game I streamed, um, when I started doing this and, um, and I just didn't quite commit to it. 
But I've, I've kind of told you guys before, like right now, things are a little difficult. Like, uh, I just have a, a kid, a very young baby who's not really sleeping super well. And, you know, my wife works early. And so I'm the one who has that shift of taking care of the baby at night. And so um, it doesn't leave me as much flexibility to stay up late playing some games like Castlevania 3 that I know it's going to take a while. So um, I need I need to wait till we're at a better place. And, and that's part of my selection process right now for streaming is like, I need to kind of play games that um, I can kind of one and done quickly. Like Mile on Secret Castle, let's never play it again. Um, whereas something like Crystallis or something that I need a little more time with, it's not really fair to my wife right now. I really need to um, to help out. So she's she's been very supportive of this channel and, and making sure I have time to do this without being interrupted, but um, I don't want to be here for five hours while she's like staying awake, wondering when I'm coming back. Uh, and I have streamed this before. Um, my buddy Andy and his son Lucas came over and Lucas had never played it. And uh, we beat Castlevania, which um, I guess I had probably done before, but it was fun to do it on a stream. I have beat uh, Castlevania three, but only once and never on stream. So that'll be one day I will I will I will do it all the way uh, I went to a party actually like a kids party the other day and was talking to a friend of mine and he was talking about games or something and he was he was saying that um, Zelda 2 was impossible like you couldn't beat it without codes or something or save states and uh, it was literally the nerdiest conversation I've had in public in a long time but I I had to I had to brag on him that yes you absolutely can beat it without save states because I've beat it on stream twice and we'll do again this year and every year because I love it get your little stinky ass badass over here okay that wasn't very effective You want Journey to Silius? Whew. Now that's a game I might need some codes for. Journey to Silius is fucking hard. Um, for you, I will play that. I, I would definitely need some help with that. Uh, Doug says Zelda 2 over um, Mario 3. Um, I think Zelda 2 is my favorite NES game. I don't think it's the best NES game. There's, there's definitely a difference. Um, it is my favorite game to play, though. I really, really love some Zelda 2. There's so many, I, I mean, so many games I haven't played yet. Like, Elusis keeps bringing up Bionic Commando, which is a game I'm not very good at, which is why I've kind of avoided playing it. But, um, and someone else mentioned Blaster Master. Like, that's another game. Um,. That I, I, I can play, but I, I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing in that game. And I'm not going to put... Oh, boy. I'm not going to put much thought into this Castlevania. I'm just going to play. Damn it. That's the worst feeling. Nobody wants the knife trying to load up your super weapon and then you get the goddamn knife. But thank you for suggesting this, Jeff, cuz I love this game. Not as much as 3, but um still still very fun aside from that. And uh and a happy birthday to you. It really is that easy, guys. If it's your birthday or like Child of Cascadia, you just complained about whatever game I've been playing for the last month, you get to choose the game. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, as far as streaming, I'd love to play more um, more homebrews would really be my goal. Um, or hacks. Any of those. Like Super Mario Brothers 3 mix. Like that that'd be fun. I'd like to try just different stuff. And I tend to find the um, homebrews and hacks so far to be honestly kind of easier than NES games. Like original NES games, so um, even though I've never played them before, they're more adaptable. Like I played the Castlevania game, um, sir, well, I can't remember the hell it was called, Relics of something, the Holy Relics, and it was pretty goddamn easy. So yeah, if anyone has a cool homebrew they want me to play. I got a P.O. Box just... Damn. I got a P.O. Box waiting for you. If you're so inclined. Huh. What? I was not that close. Come on. Yeah, I feel like I'll probably... So, this new series I've been doing, which is, like, giving me an excuse to talk about more famous games, it's probably something that um, I'll do more of. I'll probably... Um, I'm kind of enjoying it, I think, because it's not as... Um, it almost worked. It's not as formal as some of the reviews, and because I'm like super familiar with a lot of these games, it doesn't take as much, it takes just as much time, but it doesn't take as much writing process. Like, I don't have to think about it as hard when I'm writing the, the script. Come on, dude, just die. So yeah, I'll probably do a Castlevania 3 one at some point. I'll, I'll probably do a Zelda. I have a Zelda 2 video that I I want to get to at some point. That I, I'll, I'd probably do first, which is about Zelda 2 clones. To finish, kind of finish that series. There's not a lot of other games I want to talk about. Um, that have kind of clone games. Maybe I should have kept that. I think I should have kept that. Oh well. Still need an EverDrive. Doesn't want to spend twelve dollars a pop. Yeah, um, you gotta understand that an EverDrive for me would be very useful. It would, um, but it crushes my my collector spirit. It's like uh, at this point, it's too late for me. Like, it doesn't make sense that I'm buying games like Adventure Island 4 off Alibaba for $20. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I, I really should not be doing that, but I'm doing it. <laughs> There's just something about having the EverDrive, and I'll tell you what it really is, other than, like, my own kind of snobbiness. It's, um, I, I don't like the, t the, the list of games. Um, I don't like having a huge list that I have to like funnel through, you know, whenever, damn, whenever I want to play something, like I find it very imposing and I find that it, um, it actually makes me play games less. Like having that many options easily accessible 
makes me want to play games for like a minute and then move on as opposed to like putting in a cartridge and going through the the effort of getting it to work the song does rule you know what I would like to play that I've never played would be um, uh, Castlevania 3 the Japanese version Damn. Jeez. This ghost is surprisingly fast for a fucking flying head. Thank you. Can't really use that turkey right about now. Uh, I'm way better at Castlevania 3 than this game. I don't know it quite as well. Um, yeah, that's why I would like to get the Japanese. I should look into that. I bet it's not that expensive. But I don't... I think I'd ha How would that work? So something I learned... Or, or maybe didn't quite understand, and maybe someone could solve this problem for me, is that um, the games that were released for the Famicom that have expanded sound don't work on the NES. Um, so, Gimmick is actually one of those, but uh, there is a version of Gimmick that I have that doesn't matter. But, fuck. I bought a game recently called LaGrange Point, and... Um, um, it has expanded audio and so when I put it in this is an NES cartridge when I put it in it didn't work uh, it didn't play any sound or it didn't play any music at least um, so the I don't I'm not clear if I, I'm pretty sure even if I get the expanded audio can the AVS do that so it, it didn't work with LaGrange Point so maybe it was just that I wasn't playing the actual Famicom cartridge I don't know. I would be pretty bummed if I went to all the effort to get uh, Akuma Dracula 3 from Japan and then it didn't work. But uh, I might have to look that up because that would be completely worth it. It is... It's up there. It's not my favorite game, but it's it's up there. So I've, I've never played the Japanese version with the, uh, with the different soundtrack. I am... I've heard it, obviously, but... Uh, yeah. I have a really rad record, which has one of the best covers I've ever seen. But all the record is, is uh, one side is the American version of Castlevania 3, and the other side is the Japanese version. And it's just the original music. It's not like cover music or something. It's just, just the original soundtrack. And it's that good that I would actually listen to it with other people. <laughs> I, would put, I wouldn't put it on a party or something, but like... Uh, if we were just hanging out, I might put it on. Yeah, I was really bummed about LaGrange Point. Uncle Johnny, um, I fucked up with, um, with Mile and Secret Castle and accidentally didn't continue. So you had to press a certain, you had to press left and start instead of just start to continue. Not that you would know that. Not, not you, but just like anyone. <laughs> Um, and I didn't do it on accident, and that started me at the beginning, and I, that's fucked up. I was already, like, an hour and a half into it, so, yeah. Sorry, what did you say, Chad? Oh, uh, LaCrange Lazy is done. No. Um, Chad, did, has that video come out? I haven't checked yet. Uh, I sat in with Chad to review some beer last week, uh, on his channel. So, whenever that comes out, I'll, I'll post about it. That was a double whammy right there. Dead and knocked to my death. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no way to come back from that if you don't continue properly in uh, My Own Secret Castle. You, uh, you don't have a choice, really. You have to just start over, and, and yeah, I'm not that committed. So, we're playing a little Castlevania. Uh, at least for a little bit longer. 
six pack of beer right now uh if i wasn't feeling a little under the weather i probably would drink i have several of those paul anders is what we were reviewing um i have several of them left but i'm, I'm not not drinking right now never use oh shit I didn't want that weapon I never use the clock weapon but um, isn't there a meat there I can't remember or is it like a Doesn't matter. Bring the bourbon. Sweet. Does the expensive audio. It's so cool. Yeah, so I guess I need the actual Famicom cartridge. It just didn't work. Which, is, again, it's fucked up. Because the reason I bought LaGrange Point on an NES cartridge was because it was translated into English. Otherwise, it's an RPG in Japanese, which I'm not going to do much with. I don't know why I don't remember that. <laughs> Yeah, I actually think the clock is a better weapon than I give it credit for. That was stupid. At least in this game. And in, in three, I, I just only use the the boomerangs. They're a little more plentiful than they are in this game. The cross is the other name for it. Jeez. Just use the Google Translate app with the camera. I'm trying to have fun. <laughs> I'm not trying to sit and slog my way through translating a 40-year-old game. I'll just play it on my computer and not stream it, I guess. I was never... I don't know if I would... Oh, uh, yeah, I probably would have streamed it. If you haven't played LaGrange Point, it it's the most impressive-sounding soundtrack. It's not maybe not the best music or something, but, like... The whatever chip they used to make it sound amazing worked. It is fucking amazing. Um, it doesn't sound like it was made for the NES. Like, it's unreal. So, that was why I wanted to stream it, was just to kind of share that. It, it's way too long of a game to uh, to play on a stream. At least the way I like to, to do it. Oh yeah, this part. It's crazy how good this looked at the time. It looks kind of rough compared to some of the later games, but uh, it looks way better than Mylon Seeker Castle, that's for sure. Oh boy. I'll take it. <laughs> you stream with someone who grew up with these games, but it sucks mega ass at them. Uh, sometimes, yeah. 
I don't know if you're talking about me or talking about someone else, but um, sometimes, yeah. I would say most of my friends that I've had over are not especially good at any of these. Uh, I was actually impressed at how good Jennifer was at Mario 3, but um, I, I, none of my friends are really like wizards at, at video games or anything. Um, they just want to hang out and shoot the shit. But when I streamed Castlevania 3, I had my wife on because um, she just likes the game. She just thinks it's cool. Oops. Thought I could get up there. Negative. Shit, I gotta do all that again? Fuck. I missed the porch out. Where's the porch out? Is there a porch up? <laughs> Perfectly cromulent guess. Yeah, I actually used a, <laughs> actually used the word in biggin in my last, my newest review that hasn't come out yet. I'm waiting for this porch up information. Top stair. Okay. Whip it good. Oh shit, they come back to life? Oh, fuck my life. <laughs> well, shit balls. That's not good. I didn't realize that was gonna happen. Pro tip, uh, they can be found in walls. That's good. It's right up there with the uh, get the heart on the first try. I'm sure I could have a better strategy there. I don't think I have a very effective strategy. Oh, I see it. Wish it was after the second guy you had to fight. That would be more convenient. Give me a fresh start. Damn it. Oh well. That's it for me. I'm sure I could sit here and play the rest of Castlevania. It wouldn't take too much longer, but that's that's all I got time for here, folks. Gotta drink my disgusting Zevia. Don't ever buy this. This is the worst thing I've ever had. Um, but it's too late for me now. Now I've got like a fridge full of um, uncarbonated A&W cream sodas and Zevia. Like, just kill me now. Um, anyway, that's all I got for tonight. Um, I guess I'm playing Journey to Silius next week. Uh, maybe. I got a... My buddy wants to come over. We'll see. So I might do that next week. And so I owe Child of Cascadia some... Um, yeah, some journey to Silius, which is fucking hard. I don't know how that's going to go. 
that game is really, really, really difficult. So I feel like that's going to be a very short stream. Maybe I'll, I'll think of a backup. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, I gotta. I I'm editing currently the video for Tuesday. I have a feeling this is going to be my pace for a while. Is like be, because of how long the videos keep becoming that I'll probably be doing one every other week for right now. I'm, I'm trying to do them as quickly as I can, but I, I'm just finding that um, I, I can't do one a week. I'm trying so hard. I just don't have the time. So, um, yeah, I'm editing it now, assuming everything goes fine. There should be a new video on Tuesday. Um, if you want to check out more, it's patreon.com slash big old words. Um, I have some signs I got to make. Man, I'm behind on a lot of stuff. I have a sign I got to make for that episode. I really got to get on top of. Fuck. All right. Awesome. Well, stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Um, yeah. I'll post something about Chad's beer reviews whenever it comes out. If it hasn't already come out, you might have already said that. Um, check out the Discord. Uh, Lucis will post something about it. Go there and chat away. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.